Hi, uh, let's have a look at the stock market update. So many have you uh, have been so desperate for this. It's been ridiculous. Uh, I think some people are going to have a heart attack if they don't get it soon. Those are the PE ratios. Still a lot of red. You could argue the market's overvalued except in banking and in energy. However, momentum is relatively strong, pretty much green across the board. And we'll come back to this in a second. Valuations based on price earnings growth only show that energy is under one, which means that the share price is relative to the growth at which profits are happening, suggest that is an undervalued sector with a few exceptions elsewhere. But on the whole, that is pretty much the only undervalued sector. How does the S&P look? Well, we are definitely flat. We're not flat to rising on the monthly MACD. On the weekly, we are definitely up. So this is why some people are saying, no, it's a bear trap. It'll continue uh, up to now and then it's going to dip back down again that's why they're saying it's going to go back to this line which i drew over here uh, this is a bear trap i don't know i just do not know whether this is uh, a v-shape or it's not you know you could go up and then down i don't know yet because that is not uh, that's just flat it's not flat to rising okay so let's look for clues elsewhere how about apple it's been a v-shaped recovery again it's flattening doesn't mean it can't necessarily pull back on some profit taking all right so if you are risk loving you would go in now into microsoft and apple if you're risk neutral you'd uh, average in and if you are risk averse you keep your cash okay flat but the weekly is definitely rising, and you see the rate of rise there. I had predicted a 35% rise in a, in a year. It's almost halfway to that within the space of a month. Okay. Similarly with Amazon. It's still flat there, and it might be another week. And what happens? It drops or it rises. Don't know. So if you're risk-averse, you keep waiting. If you're not, you would have already got in probably. Meta. Now, Meta gives a little bit of a clue. That's still on a downward trajectory. It's probably going to go closer along to that trend line growth i said in two years probably double but we're a long way off being confident on that prediction uh, whereas costco that what up would move i'd expected it to have risen um more shallower than it has it's actually had a v-shaped move as well it's been a lot stronger and it's catching the headlines paypal i expected it to do 36 percent in two years uh rise up in fact it did that within a month okay so again what you're seeing is sharp rises up but does that mean look at that monthly macd has it flattened yeah but is it rising no so you could see why it could drop and pull back so if you're risk averse you wait if you're risk neutral you average in <coughs> if you're risk loving you get in right now excuse me uh, just some of the other fuel ones don't really matter so much pull back and a bit of a flattening and rise you can see there, Qualcomm, it's been a popular one, quality one, uh, again, flat. We're not really getting a clue as to what direction things might go. Uh, you can see with this one, I suppose with Johnson Johnson, you have had something of a clue. It rose up, now it's fallen back down again. And you can see how with the MACD not rising and it only being flat on the monthly, uh, you just haven't got the support. And here again, you haven't got the support for it to continue upwards, haven't got the support there for it to continue upwards, haven't got the support there. So same old thing i'm going to repeat it again i'm going to bore you if you're risk loving you get in if you're risk neutral you average in if you're risk averse you stay in cash and wait another week uh, and wait for my next update now you look at this occidental warren buffett bought he obviously expects some kind of 37 percent return and it is moving along that line that i drew and i drew that line back here and it's moving along it uh worst case it drops down there it doesn't look like it's going to do that that's still flat to rising well it's got him as an investor and i wonder if it will do then therefore in a month sorry in a year 37 percent return so occidental i'm shareholder in as is warren buffett because it was on my approved list mosaic well i don't want to repeat myself over and over again so you can look at these charts in your own time okay uh they all look pretty similar don't they now what about the trading side and pits predator these have been some of the instruments we've been focused on for the next signals including xrp after something well two which were yeah not great that wasn't much just assume it's a zero assume that's zero then some good returns so that's xrp um, us dollar canadian dollar as well we've kept a good focus on the trends have been smoother you see that move upwards then move downwards pretty smooth trends and we want that we're trying to find smooth ones um 
short. Didn't make anything there. Good. That's sterling Australian dollar uh, on the one hour. And that's sort of a bit of a letdown, uh, the last one. Um, let me move that out of the way. Uh, MasterCard, short, long, short. Good smooth trends, waiting for the next signals. Dash, waiting for the next signals. Um, what's happening here? The S&P 500 hit a three-month high while NASDAQ extended gains past 20%. A 20% rise in the NASDAQ and a, a three-month high on the S&P. But you've seen how I've shown the images and shown you that actually be careful whether you read too much into that. The S&P 500 close to recovery, half of its bear market decline. So it's close to recovering half that drop that it had in the bear market decline. Put another way, the S&P 500 poised to clear its June resistance in a bullish signal for the market. Well, you saw, if you're risk averse, you say, I'll wait another week. If you're risk neutral, you average in. If you're risk loving, you get all in. Okay. By the way, on PayPal, uh, which I showed you a bit earlier and that I'm in, 28% undervalued still, even though it's gone up 50% from its bottom, 50% uh, undervalued on discount cash flow. Right, I've mentioned PayPal in the past. Hopefully this market update has been useful to you. Thank you very much.